Greetings, Roger Bowman here. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate and cover a stiff leg deadlift. Now, as you can see, I am in my home and I am limited to equipment. However, I do have a little set of dumbbells here at my feet that I will utilize. So we're going to be doing the stiff leg uh, deadlift with a set of dumbbells, which you can do. There's no set rules that says that you have to do it with a barbell. Um, you know, the, the form, the rules of the movement per se are essentially the same. So there's just a, a slight variation or difference uh, between the two. But anyhow, let's dive right into it. So with this case, one of the advantages, I guess one could say with the dumbbells over a barbell, and, and this especially applies to those that may have poor posture, maybe you have um, uh, some roundness in your upper or thoracic region of your back, or maybe your front delts are a bit atrophied because you simply just had bad posture and you're kind of sitting and holding yourself like so for years and years and years. So the advantage with dumbbells over a barbell, which is where your hands are gonna be in the front and some people struggle to keep that scapula retracted, where as the dumbbells here, you can simply slide the dumbbells to your sides and for, for many that enables them to keep that retraction a little bit better as you can see versus being uh, in a bit more of a struggle position. Um, but again, that varies from person to person. But in this case, we're going to pick our dumbbells up. First things first, we're gonna take this two steps, a little shrug, retraction, soft knees. And from this point, we're going, we're going to uh, rotate or hinge, I like to say, we're going to hinge the hip and shift our hips backwards. And then once we're about at our knees, we're going to come back up. Now, the challenge for new people is as we shift down and come down, it's going to be keeping or maintaining a static contraction in that upper back, the shoulder blades, right? So a lot of us have a tendency to round and not maintain that retraction. And often that goes with a lack of shifting the hips back. So once again, retraction, soft knees, we're going to shift the hips back while keeping the shoulder blades pinched together. Now in the bottom position right here, I am thinking to engage and squeeze my glutes as I'm coming up and through the motion. So that I feel is important if we want to engage everything down the whole posterior chain on the backside. So what I mean by that is engaging hamstrings, glutes, your erectors, and as I mentioned a moment ago, everything up in the middle upper back as well. So one thing that I've seen through the years is we just simply hinge or thrust the hip with little to no engagement of your glutes. So it would look something like this, okay? However, what we're going to do is we're going to engage the glutes and therefore we're going to protect the spine. We're gonna hit all the muscles on, again, that posterior chain on the backside. So from a side view, when we are coming to the top, we should essentially be able to envision a straight line from your ears down through your shoulders, elbows, hips, and knees, okay? So for any, something like this, because we're thrusting through, uh, we're not fully engaging anything. So I will wrap this video up with five good repetitions. Shrug, retract, soft knees, and here we go. Five, three, two, and done. And that is a stiff leg deadlift done correctly with a set of dumbbells.